Good morning, y'all. It is really, really cold here. I say really, really cold. It's cold for here for this time of the year today. At around 8, it was 45 degrees. I'm not really sure how low it got last night. I slept with my window open. <laughs> my room was cold uh, last night at around shortly after midnight. My ducks, my duck alarm outside out back went off. Um, they quack a lot when people drive up when there's a weird animal or a weird bird that flies over. They sound an alarm. And their alarm sounded last night. So I got up with the flashlight and looked out there and I saw little eyes out on the wood line. I've been really worried because my Anatolian Shepherd, Heidi, she is really, really good at protecting our property. She, thanks to her, we haven't had any of our chickens go missing due to a predator. But, over the summer, she was roaming, as the breed is known to do, roaming a little bit more, so we got her a collar that keeps her here. It's one of those invisible boundary collars that keeps her home. And I was kind of wondering how she would do, if she would still be as protective to our farm as before, and it seems like she slacked off a little bit. She seems a little lazier. Rabbits have gotten in our garden. Things are happening that didn't happen before. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe the collar is an issue. Maybe she's mad at me. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, I went out with a flashlight, looked to see. It looked taller. <laughs> it looked like it might have been a coyote. Uh, my dogs, when there's a coyote near, they howl. And I woke up a couple hours later again and the dogs were howling like there was a coyote close. So I'm thinking that maybe it was a coyote and I'll have to be a little bit more vigilant for that. But before I get started on this, I wanted to show y'all. My aunt sent me, I had posted on Facebook a while back that I was looking for some vintage flower frogs. And my aunt sent me these. But even more beautiful than that was the card that she sent me. It has this verse from the Bible in it. And it spoke to me. Um, the verse goes, If God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers, He will certainly care for you. And that's Matthew 6.30. I thought that that was beautiful. And I wanted to share that with y'all. Along with these beautiful vintage flower frogs that I'm going to put to some good use. She also sent me this she's not sure how old it is, a wildflower mix. And said she didn't know, you know, if they would be viable or not. I'm going to plant them because I figure even if one of these seeds come up, it's probably going to make a honeybee really, really happy. So I plan to plant that next spring. Okay, so for today, we are going to make fire cider. It is an old folk remedy from a lady named Rosemary Gladstar from the 1970s. She created this using some ingredients that are just powerhouses for immune systems. It's really good to have during these upcoming months, especially with what's going on in the world, to have these extra supplements to help. Anything that is extra to support my family's immune system, I'm going to give it a go, especially if it's something natural like this that can't hurt to try. The ingredients we're going to need is some apple cider vinegar. I have 64 ounces here. Um, I got the raw organic with the mother, that's what you want, is the raw with the mother. Two oranges, some ginger root. We need seven inches of ginger root. And in my Walmart pickup, I did half a pound, and that is what came. You also need seven inches of horseradish, but my local Walmart didn't have a good option for fresh horseradish, so I think since this is half a pound and it looks like it might be more than seven inches, I'm going to go ahead and throw this whole ginger root in there. You'll need 10 to 15 cloves of garlic. I just have three heads of our homegrown garlic. A lemon and two cayenne peppers. I have these dehydrated ones that I'm going to crunch up into my jar. We're going to want to wash and quarter our um, oranges, leaving the peels on. Peel and shred our ginger root. Peel and crush our garlics quarter our lemon and crush our cayenne pepper. If you don't have whole cayenne peppers then just use a tablespoon of the crushed red pepper. I'm going to get busy preparing all of my stuff and then get back with you. 
as I'm preparing my ingredients here, I'm gonna give you all some tidbits of information about fire cider. I'm placing my four quarter pieces of lemon into my jar as we go. We're gonna place all of our ingredients in a jar. You'll need about a gallon or two half gallon jars. Fire cider is taken once daily as a preventative to keep a boost on our immune systems. Adults will take one ounce as a shot or mix into a tea or a cup of juice daily. It is a taste that <laughs> takes some getting used to. It is simple to mix some hot water and some honey into to make a tea. If you're sick, take half of an ounce three times daily. It's actually really soothing if it's mixed into a warm tea. Children aged 2 to 12 will take one teaspoon daily in a drink because they will not like the taste. Juice, orange juice, something sweet. Or they can take a half a teaspoon three times daily while they're sick. Some of the health benefits for apple cider, I'm gonna go over some of the ingredients. The apple cider is a digestive aid and it's packed with pro probiotics. It's also a good preservative. In this instance, it's what's gonna preserve our fire cider. The ginger is warming and a good herb for circulation. It is good for digestion, fighting infections, and nausea. It's also a good expectorant, which helps to produce a more productive and effective cough. Garlic has been dubbed the poor man's penicillin for its antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. It actually helps to lower cholesterol as well. I think I'm going to more than quarter of these oranges since they're fairly large. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but peeling ginger is for the birds. I'm sure grating it is too, so I cheated and used my food processor. Cayenne pepper is one of the best cardiovascular herbs. It helps the immune system get a move on and moves blood through the system. After we let this steep for four weeks, when we add the honey to our tea or to flavor, the honey is a sooth it's soothing to the tissues that are inflamed, like our throats. The oranges and the lemons are packed full of vitamin C, and of course they're gonna be there for flavor too. I'm gonna break up a couple of these cayenne peppers. You can add all kinds of stuff to this. Onions would be good. A lot of people add onions to theirs. I'm not going to today. You could add black peppers, echinacea, turmeric, rosemary, thyme, cinnamon. It's just all kinds of stuff. You can really play around with this. Research the medicinal properties of all different types of things. Add them to this. It's only going to make it better. All right, so now that we have everything in here, we are going to fill this with apple cider vinegar. Just pour it in. Let all the good bits get in there too. Now that we have all of our ingredients in there, we want to push it all down, push out as much of the air as we can. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cloth. Make sure everybody's still under there. A cloth and a rubber band. Just like that. We're gonna stick this in a cool, dark place for four weeks. Checking on it daily. After our four weeks is up, we will take this out of its storage, strain it into the jars that we will keep them in permanently. You can use any type of jar with a lid. I'll probably use these bottles, but you can also use any mason jar. Any, reuse any of your glass jars that you might buy at the grocery store. This is a good, good time that you could use those. After that four weeks and we strained them, we can mix in our honey to taste however much you want, or you can just mix it in when you make your tea store it in the refrigerator. This should keep for a very long time, but you'll use it up before you have to worry about it going bad. I hope you've been able to follow along with this recipe, okay? 
even though I'm tired, the work is still going to go on and it must be done. I hope y'all make this. I give it a try. I hope it helps y'all, you and your family to stay healthy. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it gives you a sense of pride in what you can do. Always listen to your doctor and check and make sure if you have any pre-existing health conditions that this is safe for you to drink. Until next time, bye guys.